Here's HealthWise with Karen McKay. This is Madeline Hall, one of our producers, and she is armed with the task now of saving the life of anyone on the night shift at KCBD if needed. We are not a big group at night, maybe six or so, along with all those folks in master control who keep us on the air. But starting this week, we now have designated lifesavers for every shift at KCBD. Co-workers who have been trained in CPR and know what to do if someone falls unconscious in the building. Much like the DeMar Hamlin incident when the whole NFL game stopped after his heart stopped on the field. Madeline Hall is now one of two on the night shift ready to save a life if that were to happen here. It is nice to know that, you know, in a moment where a lot of times it's easy to panic, I'm well prepared um, and that I know how to properly use the machinery. You see, Santa and his reindeer, a big holiday attraction at the station, have been replaced now with one simple decoration. Madeline's machinery is an AED machine, an automated external defibrillator. Check connector and pads. Which is a portable medical device that can jumpstart the heart in an emergency, keeping someone alive until paramedics arrive. The AED machine will walk you through it. Um, it has this loudspeaker and it says, you know, place the pads and wait three seconds and shock delivered. One touch patient. Clear, Animal. analyzing. Any business can line up a class like this one to help coworkers feel confident in saving a life. What we're gonna do is to be certified, all these folks took a brief online course first and then attended this class to learn a little more. Madeline says it took a couple of hours, but it was worth it. I do feel better at least being prepared if the worst happens, but yes, hopefully I'll never have to use it. And you can call the Red Cross for more information on CPR training, first aid certification, and AED classes for your business or organization.